Hi, I'm Stephen E., the bestseller guru, the guru within you. Before I became an author, nothing happened. But now look, I became a number one best-selling author. Watch this video and see what could happen to your life. Wake up and live the life you love. Wake up and live the life you love. Don't worry about tomorrow stuff. Go out and live it up. Wake up. I had a weird moment that got me started on my path. In high school, I had signed up for uh, a certain class, and the computer made an error and put me in an acting class. I think acting was sort of like a congenital disease. My parents were both actors. Uh, my sister was an actress, and uh, I discovered, I think, in high school that it was something I could do. So my wake-up moment was actually the inspiration of my, my father's music. And that got me into self-expression, and what better field than acting for self-expression. We are about 60 seconds away from starting our red carpet procession for the premiere of Pass It On. Your journey of a lifetime starts with one moment that wake-up moment when things begin to fall into place. What do you want to do with your life? How do you find the secrets to success and happiness? Who will help you find your path? Do you have what it takes to succeed? So another wake-up moment, how about that? Wake up, wake up and live the life you love. My wake-up moment was not that long ago. When I finally got the exposure to this world of personal development, and, I, and that was a wake-up moment for me. Well, the defining moment, really, was when we first played together. We were on the Big Island. It was about five years ago. It was just kind of so clear, so that's it. I'm going to have a complete change and do something completely different with my life. Uh, my wake-up moment um, happened when my little sister Jennifer passed away. Well, my wake-up moment really is when I was in the Army. My advice would be to continually do what you love to do because then eventually you'll end up in a place that you love. Where You know, you can't always predict where you'll end up, but I think as long as you follow your heart and do what it is you love to do, you'll end up in a good place. My wake-up moment was, um, I think when I was about seven or eight years old, and I knew I loved playing make-believe and using my imagination. But I also knew in our household we had to go to college. So when I realized, this is the wake up moment, when I realized that you could go to college to learn how to act, and I could make money and be on TV, and make money and be on TV, <laughs> I knew that's what I wanted to do. The things that I felt like God had made me to do, he wasn't keeping from me because he was mad at me, he was keeping from me because uh, he knew that I wasn't ready for them. And so my wake up moment was knowing God's love. This all started with the wake up moment of really walking through my fears and, and really taking that risk to go out there and live my dream. Follow one man's experience and see how the seven secrets he learned allow him to live the life he loves. You'll see the powerful positive influence on the lives of many people around the world. You'll see how you can learn to change your life and start on a course to make your dreams come true. One wake up moment was when I was in my early 30s and uh, my wife left me. In 1985, I began playing around with this uh, audio technology that became Holosync, which is what I'm well known for. One wake-up moment for me was definitely September 11th, 2001. I saw my sister on a play when I was nine, and I went to my mom and I said, I think I'd really like to try that. And she said, oh, I think that would be great. I'm not taking you. Your sister can take you. I don't want any part of seeing you get up on that stage and see what happens. And it was Oliver, and I sang for it, and I played Oliver and Oliver, and I just I remember getting up on that stage and, and actually feeling very much at home for the first time. The most important wake up moments have not had to do so much with my career but more with my personal life and uh, I would say the biggest wake up moment for me was probably about uh, five or six years ago where I realized a lot of what I've been doing in my life just wasn't working and uh, I started asking for help in a different sort of way. So I graduated with a D average. And, uh, and I got married, 
uh, at 18, and my wife got pregnant right away. And uh, and I and suddenly one day it hit me that that was my life. I was working in a factory, and uh, I just felt like I was trapped, and I had no way out. And I thought, well, maybe I'll go to college. When I tried to get into college, uh, that D average came into play, and I couldn't get accepted anywhere. And um, one night I just uh, prayed over it, and I woke up about three in the morning, and I, I heard a voice saying, "Go downstairs, take the tube out of the TV." And I did. When I took the tube out of the TV, my wife thought it was broken. And we started for the first time to really talk to each other. And I found that she was a great reader. And we just um, turned our lives around. And I remember sitting in my office talking to my partner. And we both said about the same time, what if we could make our work all about personal growth? My wake up moment came when I actually saw my name in print on the cover of a book. I'm an ordinary person that was placed in an unordinary experience with the demise of a 17-year marriage when I discovered my husband was married to two women simultaneously. I would say a defining moment career-wise would be when I decided to become a marketer rather than just an entrepreneur. In other words, to help other people market, to become a marketing guru. Learn how a wake-up moment can be the beginning of a new life for you. Hear the stories of people who will reveal the secrets that can open the door to your abundance, to joy in your life. Learn how you too can wake up, live the life you love. Just like all the co-authors in the Wake Up, Live a Life You Love book series, you have a story too. We want to hear your story. We all have a story. I don't care if you're 14 years old or 96 years old. Let's hear your story. Go to wakeupmoment.com. We want to hear a story.